Otakus of the world out there, welcome back to the Otaku Zoom. My name is Pio Lutter and today we have a special video. You guys don't, may not know this, but again, I am a huge Pokemon Go fan. And if you do know it, because you actually saw my last video. But today we have one of the best announcements in Pokemon Go history. Literally one of the things that we were all waiting for for the last year. In a couple of weeks. Because it's been out for that long. But, legendaries are here. So yes, finally Niantic tweeted out this. The Pokemon Go is tweeted out, the legendaries will be coming after Pokemon Go Fest this weekend. And it's gonna be amazing. The trailer just looks amazing. I'm gonna put it down in the, li in the, in the description below so you guys can see it. I don't know if I can actually put it in my channel because, you know, copyright stuff. But it is super amazing that they are finally gonna get in legendaries. Now, I'm gonna, gonna be putting some pictures here of how the trailer was. Maybe that's a little bit better, but it's still, if you want to watch the full trailer, because every time I watch it, I'm super hyped and I can't wait for this weekend. But, that being said, we do have legendaries coming. Um, let's talk about, really, what's been happening the last month. All the new things, basically. The last few updates has been incredible to introduce the legendaries and incredible to introduce new ways to play the game. Now, before, of course, we had, you know, the standard catching Pokemon, hatching eggs, and battling gyms. The gym system, though, was not the greatest, but it was something that kept us occupied every now and then. But, this time around, we do have the new uh, gym rework update with the new raid boss updates, giving us the chance to meet up with players and actually play around. I have been able to meet up with so many cool players out there in my area, and it's amazing because somebody actually made a Discord account, a Discord channel, I guess what it's supposed to be called, and everybody's in it, so we can actually see in which area, which raids wanna go, we want to go to. And this Discord channel has gone bananas, literally. We have been going to almost every single tournament raid in the whole entire city. And I live in a rural area, so it's really hard for me to actually, you know, get up and move. But because everybody's telling me this raid's going here, this raid's going there. When a Tyranitar pops up, we do have an hour to be able to meet up, so if it pops up, I'm able to drive down for like a good 30 minutes or so, and by the time I get there, the raid is almost starting, Everybody, as long as I'm able to tell them that I'm coming, but it's amazing. I'm able to meet people like that and, you know, not get discouraged because everybody wants this Pokemon and everything, so it's amazing. The, re the gym rework system has been a pure blessing to the game for sure. Now, we do have the raid system, and thanks to that, again, we're just meeting a lot of players. But, um, thanks to that, now Pokemon Go has actually had his one year anniversary. Now, the gym rework is part of the anniversary, but it was a little lackluster on the actual day of the anniversary, when we all start playing the game. Because the only thing they announced was the, uh, the Ash Pikachu. Pikachu would have had just like another one of things. So we're a little lackluster. We were like, man, this this all that we get, we're getting, plus an anniversary box, which really wasn't a good discount or anything. But that being said, the hype wasn't over, and they announced the Pokemon Go Fest was also coming, and that's actually hope happening this weekend. They also announced that they'll be hosting with so many YouTubers, and a lot of YouTubers has been actually been sponsored by Niantic, by, by Niantic and self telling them please come to Pokemon Go Fest, we will pay you for this and actually hyped up the event for you guys. Because the event needs to be hyped up for everybody who likes to play the game. And the tickets went wild, they sold out in less than 15 minutes probably, probably less than 10 minutes, and everybody everybody who was anybody who literally went out to buy those things. Now, just recently they announced Legendaries and the, and the Twitch uh, channel that were, they'll be hosting the actual event for everybody in the world to see. Now, don't get discouraged because just because you can go to Pokemon Go Fest, which I won't be, unluckily, the actual event time will be happening when I'm flying out somewhere else. <laughs> yes, I'm probably gonna be going to. Uh, I'm not, not probably. I'm, I, I am going to uh, Los Angeles this weekend and I'll be staying for a whole week. Now, that is not a bad thing if legendaries are coming because the Santa Monica Pier and the Santa Monica uh, City will have probably. A good amount of legendary raids, and hopefully by the time Pokemon Go Fest ends, or we'll be introducing the first legendaries, we'll be able to see where they're actually coming. Now, hopefully, I'm able to just like sneak by my parents and just like, you know, go over there and do whatever I can to uh, 
attend this event or you know to get my brother to say let's get an Uber and actually go get there. But if we can, we will. If not, once I come back, I'll be meeting up with my group and actually planning out the legendary events. Now we just still don't know how we're gonna get the legendary raid passes. Maybe through some kind of connections or something. I'm not sure how that's gonna work if we wanna battle legendaries. But we're gonna need them for sure. And to be able to do that, we may have some different way of, do, of getting the legendary passes. But that being said, we will be doing as much as possible. Now, I can't, my, I can't really record the gameplay and you know get my footage like just like the other YouTubers because I don't have all the technology in the world. I only have my phone, which I'm using to record. And if I do that and play the game, I really can't do both. So I'll be able to do what I can. If anything, I'll be posting much of what I'm going to be doing in my Instagram. Please go ahead and follow. I'll link it, I'll link it down to the description. And I'll be tuning out as much as possible. I also have a Discord that I just joined with a couple of friends of mine. Um, basically, if you want to talk about things and everything, just go ahead and go down to the link in the description for the Discord, Twitter, Instagram. I'll be posting everything I can about Legendary Rays and Legendary Pokemons. But again, I'm super hyped that the Pokemon Go finally released Legendaries. Yeah, legendary release in January, legendaries after a one year period. So, thank you, Niantic, for putting this game out, max reviving it to the hypeness of everything. And <laughs> thank you, everybody, for watching the video. Um, again, just follow me. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down in the bottom. And yeah, I'll, uh, after this video, I'll be probably doing another live stream soon today. If not, uh, yeah, I'll probably just be finishing up the week with the live stream of Pokemon Go Fest. I am working that day, so I don't know if when it starts I won't be able to actually completely see it. But when it do starts and I actually get home, I'll try to live stream my reactions to the event. And if anything, I'll just keep on on the lookout for all those things. So, thank you very much guys, and I'll see you all in the next one.